Beat Makers of Squad, what's good as your boy Cheese the Producer. So today what we're gonna talk about is a little hack that can help make your melodies a little bit more interesting. So without any further ado, let's get right on into this. So, earlier this week, or last week, I had created a post for Instagram which basically talked about how you could create melodies and you could sample them and then do different things with them in order to make your melodies more interesting. So today we're gonna get into that. Uh, but prior to doing that, I'd like to invite you guys to subscribe to the page, also hit the bell icon so you can be notified uh, as to when new videos go up. Also, uh, I invite you guys to go over to uh, my website, BeatMakersSquad.com. And if you're interested in some stickers or some sounds, you can definitely go and get those. This here is the BeatMakers the Squad sound. Uh, excuse me, this is the BeatMakers the Squad sticker pack. Includes four stickers for five bucks. Um, stickers are actually included for free with anything that you purchase on the site. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So definitely head on over to BeatMakersTheSquad.com. Um, anyway, let's get into this hack. So today we're gonna to be working in Core Gadget. So I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna to get to this. I'm gonna mess around with Marseille. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to set the scale. I'm gonna go with Phrygian and F Phrygian. I like this mode uh, because it um, starts with a half note and that makes some really, really like kind of dark melodies and I like to make dark melodies. So let's uh, get started. So I'm just gonna plug in some notes and actually let's set the tempo to about 160. I want this to be a little upbeat, but still kind of dark. So I'm gonna plug in some notes and see if we can get. And let's also go down here and let's turn the damper pedal on. So we get a nice uh, sustain on all the notes. Let's see what we get. Alright, so I'm kind of digging that. Uh, I'm going to slow it down though, because I think it's, it might be a little bit too fast. Okay, your damp is still on. So I'm going to take it down to about 135, because it was just like way too fast. All right, let's check it now. All right, I like that. So now let's, now let's tweak the sound itself, because now it's just still a little too pretty. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Bring modulator. This is like... Lately, this has been one of my like favorite effects to use. All right, check this out. All right, so I'm gonna record some automation with that. Another really dope effect that people probably sleep on <clears throat> is the grain shift. Um, just, I'm gonna turn the balance down. <laughs> I'll just let y'all hear what it does. All right, so what I'm doing right here is I'm just smoothing out the automation for the uh, rain modulator. Because uh, it was just a little bit annoying um, the way it, it was changing just like way too frequently, so now it sounds better. All right, so we got us a nice, nice little loop. So what I'm gonna do, because that loop is just a, it's gonna get boring. Like in two minutes, too much that's gonna get boring. I'm gonna um, uh, export that to Audio Share. Okay, and here we have it. Now let me just show you the, uh, the settings that I uh, had. 
when I exported it and I went to audio share, you notice I have the tail on zero milliseconds. What that's going to do is that it's going to um, just export exactly um, one bar, two bars, whatever it is. It's not going to have that little uh, effect tail. And um, I'm doing that on purpose because what I'm going to do at this point uh, is I'm going to mute that original part. Now I'm going to open up Vancouver. Okay, and I'm going to scroll to the initialize patch. Then after that, I'm going to press right here where it says instrument music box C. I'm going to press that and I'm going to hit import. We're going to go to audio share and now we're going to import our sample right back in. Okay, and let's, uh, we're going to go to C, note C4 and draw one in because C4 is where the original uh, pitch is for Vancouver. Oop, that's C sharp. Well, it actually sounded good. I have stuff. <laughs> All right, but let's check this out. So now we got. So I just went back here just to make sure this is the only one playing. All right, so I'm digging away that sound. Let's bypass that. And now let's just reverse it, see how this sounds. So now I'm going to add some more effects to it. Let's add a delay to it. Yeah, yeah I'm digging that. All right, so I'm just going to um, bring a kick drum in real quick. Let me tell you. Now, a lot of people sleep on these kicks and gadget and the drums and gadget, but there's some good drums in here. You just have to, like, you just got to, like, mess around with them, tweak them. Uh, once you learn which drums is, are the good ones, like, just literally just just mess with them, like, you know? Put this to the... All right, let's turn it up. And give it a little more punch. I'm just doing this beat real quick uh, so the video doesn't take all day. So I'm just going to trap beat because you have the snare I like. Alright, just let that be simple. Alright. adjusting the velocities of the hi-hats so that it has a little extra bounce and so that the hi-hats sound a little more dynamic and it don't sound just like uh, like like a machine gun all right quick and shameless plug if you are looking for 808s for core gadget definitely know you can hit up beatmakersquad.com and pick up the stupid 808s for core gadget if you previously picked up the core gadget 808s and subs this is the same pack i just renamed it um uh if you pick it up you will also get a free beatmakers squad sticker pack as long as you send me your address so i can send it to you all right so let's keep going all right so i'm gonna go with the dump trunk 808 because i like that 808 
All right, so let's see where we at. Beat maker is the squad. Peace.